Hello, Doctor. Welcome to the Health Side. Hi. Good to be here. G. Doctor, today we are going to talk about prostate enlargement. So, uh, very very first question that I would like to ask: How does the prostate get enlarged? Um, the prostate is a uh, accessory sexual gland which is there only in males. It's it resides uh, within the urine passage, or the urine passage actually goes through it. So, as a male grows older, the prostate tends to increase in size. Typically, it increases size at at around the age of puberty, and uh, it then further increases in size. Around about the age of about forty-five, fifty years. So it's it's a natural physiological process. Uh, it's it's a also further increases in size beyond age of fifty are more of an aging process. So that's what the enlargement of the prostate is all about. But the enlargement of the prostate can also be due to non-physiological reasons. That is, it could also be because of cancer. and that is what is important to understand that this enlargement is it due to a benign normal aging process or is it due to the cancer uh doctor understanding this what happens like what are the symptoms when uh, prostate enlargement happens so any prostate enlargement will cause um, constriction of the urine passage which will then lead to re- most commonly a reduction in urine flow right uh, but it, there are other symptoms also which could be an increase frequency of urination uh, having to get up more often at night which is called nocturia having an uncontrollable urge to pass urine that means the person needs to rush to the uh, to the bathroom that's called urgency or uh, there could be a reduction in the stream the flow of the urination or the stream may be interrupted so that these are all the reasons these are all the symptoms of a enlarged prostate which is more commonly due to a benign enlargement which is the aging process but it is indistinguishable from a prostate cancer all right doctor talking about the cure of the you know prostate enlargement or talking about the reversal of this uh, problem is there any cure or is there any reversal of this is it reversible um for the benign part which is the normal aging process just like we do not have a cure for aging as of now uh there is no cure in terms of reversal of the prostate so the, sim- the pr- every prostate does not necessarily need to be treated only if it is causing trouble or symptoms to the individual does it actually need to get treated and in those situations um they are usually treated by medication to alleviate the symptoms there are some drugs which uh, and some plant products which are called phytoestrogens which have been shown to cause some reduction in the size of the prostate now it's it's not it's not magic it will not reduce it will not reduce by say 50 or 70% but about a 10 to 15% reduction is possible uh, with medication but it will be very variable amongst uh, different people uh regarding cure if it is unfortunately due to prostate cancer and if it is not uh spread and it is localized Yes, in that situation, we can cure the situation, the problem, where whereby one could remove the prostate entirely, uh, robotically for prostate cancer. While uh, the uh, the enlargement, which is due to aging or benign prostate enlargement, is normally treated with medication. When those who do not do well with medication will then need some form of surgical intervention. which uh, is most commonly is TURP or a laser prostatectomy uh, then there are new things which are now available which are somewhere in between that means not medicine and yet not major surgery which are called uh, minimally invasive surgical techniques or therapeutics out of which uh, something which is new available in india is called the uro lift or the prostatic urethral lift which is not cutting the prostate it's simply pulling away the prostatic lobe so that the passage is wider and therefore one is able to have a more unhindered passage of urine so that's something which is new in the uh, armamentarium which we have to treat benign prostate enlargement all right so what are the some what are some advancements that have took place to treat the condition right so as i as i already spoke about uh, apart from the standard surgical uh armamentarium which we have 
of TURP. There are a couple of lasers which are now available, which have been available for a while. The most commonly used is the Holmium laser. There is a newer laser called the Thulium laser. And there's always the green light laser, which has been there. Uh, so these are the surgical options. One as uh, the minimally invasive options, which are, which are less invasive, the commonest of them is the prostatic urethral lift and that's the new thing which is available and it's available in India also. Uh, there is uh, also uh, something called aquablation which which involves um, cutting the prostate using a water jet. Uh, that's something which is still in its uh, initial mode. It is not uh, clinically available in India as well. There's a third thing which is called uh, the um, a wave therapy in which oh, actually you inject steam into the prostate and uh, it then shrinks in size over a period of time uh, which is called the resume therapy which is also currently not available in our country but it is available elsewhere. Okay, thank you so much doctor for talking to the health site and thank you for clearing our doubts about prostate enlargement. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you.